Good kitten, internet. Very good kitten. It's lucky at last. It's one of my favorite shirts, in this case, hoodie. Good kitten, internet. Um, I had said before that I was going to play a couple of games and kind of show you a medley of the types of things that I've been playing lately, and well, Factorio is pretty much the only thing I've been playing other than Pokemon Let's Go. So I thought I would show you Factorio. Now, you'll notice that this is a much wider screen than normal, and you'll probably see, depending on your monitor, some bars up above and down below. Reason being is that I actually have an ultra wide here. Let me pick up the camera and show you. Woo! Uh, hi! This is what I'm playing with. Um, all right, let me reset transform, reset transform. You can now see the setup that I have. I've got an ultra wide down below, and hey, look, it's me, the OBS up at the top. So I'm actually playing in ultra-wide, which means, well, I'm going to record at what I'm playing at. That's what makes sense. Um, I should reset this where it's not taking up a third of the screen, or a third of the width. Boop. Move over. Break it down a bit, because you don't need to see my face that bad. Take a little haircut off the top. And there we go. That should be good. Uh, I could probably take a little bit off the bottom as well. That's probably about right. Okay, so anyway, this is Factorio. Factorio is a factory building game. Um, technically, the object of the game is to launch a rocket into space, but most people don't end up actually bothering to do that. This is a game where you're basically abandoned on this planet. There's resources, there's some aliens, and... All you basically do is, well, build stuff. So I'm going to load up the save that I've been working on for a bit. Apparently for 30 hours, according to that. Whoops. Um, so this is my game. This is my factory. You can zoom all the way out, and you can see parts of the factory. I actually have to go into map mode to show you the entire thing. Technically, that is the entire thing. Um, I play this game kind of like I play City Skylines, which is to say, I play City Skylines to manage traffic. In this case, I manage production and conveyor belts and make things more optimal and so on. Um, I do have some settings set, so for those of you who have played Factorio before, I have docile aliens enabled. So basically, these red blotches here, 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 yeah, you get the idea. Um, these are all alien nests. You can see some of the nests and some of the small biters they're cute um they're not going to attack me no matter what i do unless if i attack them first they won't attack me also isun has decided to be directly in front of the microphone because of course he has i had mentioned this in the testing stream but i really need to buy a clamp so i can clamp it onto the monitor mount that i have so the microphone's no longer on the desk because otherwise, Isun ends up being full of purrs. Not that's a problem. Anyway, we need to show Isun. See, he's right there. So, um, anyway, so my factory builds stuff. So let me go walk through what I do in the factory, and then I'll play a little bit, and that will probably be about it. So let me. Okay. So this is iron ore. See, iron ore, it says it all the way on the right, which I can't point at because the moment I move this, it goes away. Trust me, it says it all the way on the right. Um, you have various types of ore. There's iron ore, there's, my housemates, it is really noisy, isn't it? Hopefully that's not coming in. Um, so there's coal going on here. There's very little coal left. I've kind of mined it all out. Um, over here, let me just run over to here. We've got copper ore. I used to have copper ore production down here, except I actually, oh, I do still have one more copper ore production down here. So I've got li this little electric mining drill that just continually mines copper. Um, 
Needless to say, that's not my primary copper production. Each one of these little thingies on there consists of one little copper ore nugget. Um, there's some other basic resources as well, but I wanted to follow copper. So copper, these are inserters. You can actually see it grabs a copper ore and puts it into this electric furnace. From here, it produces copper plates, and this inserter puts the copper plates on this conveyor belt. I primarily run my factories with conveyor belts because I think they're prettier. There's not really any other reason for it. There's other resources and uh, other ways of transporting things that are a lot more efficient. Anyway, we follow these this conveyor belt. It merges in with another one, which is producing a lot more in the way of copper plates. I need a lot of copper plates for my factory. Um, these are steel furnaces, so they actually require fuel rather than running off of electricity. Technically, these are actually slightly more efficient, but they produce disgusting looking pollution and ew. But this is what you started with, so I still had lots of them available. Same type of thing with the iron ore. It gets converted via some iron ore plates into iron plates, or iron converted from iron ore into iron plates. Very similar process, but I wanted to show you the copper ore one because it's a lot simpler. So from here, we've got a couple of belts. It divides it out a bunch. Um, you'll notice that there's backup along some of these belts and basically open terrain. That's a bad way of phrasing it. Um, there's plenty of space on the other belts, and the reason for that is that these copper plates aren't being used as heavily as these. Let's follow this one along. So it goes underground a bunch because that looks cool. And from here, this gets used for two things. One would be making copper coils. Copper coils require a copper plate and half of a second of production time. So this long grabber grabs a copper plate, puts it in here, and out goes a copper. I know it's really hard to keep track of because of how fast it's going, but these are copper coils. Um, can I pause? Not really. I can hit escape to pause. So you can see the little copper belts or copper coils. Um, also, this produces red science, and I'll talk about science later. But you'll notice that this also requires a second thing. So this requires copper plate and iron gear. Iron gears are made down here by taking some iron plates. Half a second of time, two iron plates, half a second of time equals one copper gear. So these are just basically making things as fast as possible. And the belt goes further down here to make even more copper coils. I've This is what's referred to in the manufacturing community as spaghetti. Um, because this factory kind of grew organically. And while I refactored a couple of things... Sorry, that was me sliding my keyboard. Um, I've refactored a couple of things. I haven't been able to refactor everything because I don't want it. This looks pretty-ish. Anyway, um, let's follow some of the other... All right, let's follow the copper coil route. So this copper coil goes up to here and gets taken for these five production facilities. These are assembly machines that are assembling electronic circuits. So it takes one iron plate and three copper cables. So you'll see... I have the long grabbers grabbing iron plates from this conveyor belt and the stack inserters, which just grab a stack of mm, pardon me, uh, copper coils and puts it into here. So this, I'm just watching you soon jump up, making sure he doesn't knock anything over. Um, this drops off more electronic circuits there. Let's follow the electronic circuits. There's a couple of things that get produced from this, or several things actually. First we have Inserters. So these yellow grabby things, yeah, they're actually being made here. I can make them myself as well. I'll probably end up showing some of the production myself, but they're being made here because they're actually an ingredient for other things. We continue along this route. This splits again into two routes. We've got one going north and one going east, following the east route. So this actually merges, all right, this basically separates out the iron plates here. So iron plates go on this side and then the iron gears go on this side along with the electronic circuits. So we have a belt and a cat. We have a belt that has electronic circuits on one side and iron gears on the other. From here it goes underground again and then split apart where we have some going up top, some going down below. Then this next splitter 
actually is all it's doing is stopping the iron gears from continuing because now we're merging with plastic. You, you can see how this gets really complicated fast. And these are making red circuits. Red circuits require plastic, copper, and electronic circuits. Um, down below here, they're being separated out to make um, electric mining drills, which are also another ingredient because of course they are. Everything's an ingredient in this game. So let's go ahead and follow the red circuits. You notice I have a lot of factory capacity, but I'm using very little of it. Basically nothing gets past this point. And the reason why I have so many others is so when I start increasing my electronic circuits production, I am ready for it basically. Um, I can probably decommission several of these, especially these down here because they're never gonna get used. And these are higher production ones. So let me actually tear this down a little bit. Oh, I did not mean to tear down the power, but that's fine. So we're tearing down everything. I'm gonna hold on to these three assembly machines. And let's follow the red circuits. So the red circuits are built very slowly. Um, this takes six seconds per circuit. Um, some things that I have will actually increase the amount of time that it takes, or the blue ones take longer to produce than normal. Uh, the green ones take less time to produce than normal, if I remember right. Anyway, so this gets merged with the um, electric mining drills. So both of these are on the same conveyor belt. They go underneath these conveyor belts, over to here, up through this underground area and over to here. Now, this is where the red circuits are getting split apart. Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the red circuits, shoving it down below, splitting them in the half, and then shoving them back up above. This should technically have output priority, right? That's not gonna make much of a difference, but anyway, um, goes over to here and gets queued up for making blue science. But it also, red circuits go up here and get taken on this conveyor belt and turned into electric furnaces. Electric furnaces, once more, are an ingredient for things. You can see that it's being dropped down this conveyor belt. You'll also notice that there's another electronic circuit. There's, there's a lot of things going on. Anyway, gets dropped into this queue, which produces purple science. So there's six colors of science. So we've got blue, purple, green, you can actually see down here. Green takes transport belts and inserters. I mentioned the inserters before, but I also have transport belts being made up here. Red science, which I explained before. And then there's two more sciences. Here's yellow science. This is a blueprint that I ended up grabbing online. I'll explain the blueprints in a bit. Um, this takes batteries, copper coils, blue processing units, which I don't produce that many of, and speed modules. It takes four separate ingredients to output one yellow light bulb. Which, where is that going at? Those are copper cables. It's going out this way. So let's watch for a little bit. Oh, yep, yeah, see, there is some yellow science going around. You notice how little yellow science I produce by comparison. Um, we'll follow that a bit later. I don't know, actually, we could follow that now. So yellow science goes out here. Then I also have gray science. Gray science is for military stuff, which I don't really need to be honest. Oh, apparently I brown out overnight now. That's good to know. Ooh, I'm browning out a lot. Oh, I should probably fix that. I'll get to that in a bit after I finish my explanation. So military science isn't something I really need. I'm just doing it because I have nothing else to do. Um, military science or gray. Gray require piercing rounds, grenades, and gun turrets. I have no idea how logic that, that doesn't make any logical sense to me, but whatever. Anyway, all the science comes out here. You'll notice that I have every color available in three different conveyor belts. Um, yellow is obviously lacking by comparison to the rest. I do have some yellow spare, but not much. So these don't end up getting much in the way of yellow. But there's blue and purple here. There's red and green here. And what this does is it produces science. Oh, 
there's actually another science color. How? Okay. I didn't even know about white science. Anyway, I'm I'm not be all end all of this game. I play it for relaxation and enjoyment, basically. So what I end up doing is that you research things. Everything in green here are things that I have researched. So you start with very basics of optics, which allow you to produce solar panels, or landfill, or logistics that you can actually make underground conveyor belts. And then you get to really complicated things like a portable fusion reactor. Um, the things in yellow here are the things that I can re research at this point, and the things in red are the things that I can research after I've researched some other things. So like for instance, I could theoretically research Combat Robotics 3 if I finished researching Combat Robotics 2 and Military 4. Um, yes, there's also nukes in this game, apparently. Anyway, each of these requires some number of science packs. In this case, this one requires green, or red, green, and gray, whereas this one requires all five, or five of the six of the ones that I have. It doesn't require purple. That one requires all six of the ones that I have, and that one apparently requires seven, which is apparently gained by a, using a rocket with a satellite. I, whatever, I haven't launched anything into orbit. So, we've got a lot of things. Um, and all I did was explain science. I haven't even explained how oil works. I haven't explained how a lot of other things work. It's a fairly complicated game. But let me go ahead and play a little bit. So I have got a power problem. These are accumulators. They're basically um, uh, super capacitors. So they hold charge overnight. That way my solar panels will actually be useful. At the moment, I'm still browning out for reference which is not good because it's actually daylight. So I must have started using a lot more power somewhere recently. So I need to get more power. And at the moment, I've got three ways of getting power. One of which is not really available to me because I don't have any uranium and that would be fission power. Uh, that's nuclear reactors over here. It requires a lot of things to build. I don't even know how to build concrete off the top of my head. But you'll notice that I really wish I can point with the mouse, so my apologies. You notice that up at the top, it is mentions it takes eight seconds to build, it takes 500 copper plates, 500 steel plates, 500 advanced circuits, and 500 concrete. But the raw materials are down below, which is 4,700 seconds, 500 pieces of concrete, 1,000 pieces of iron plate, 3,000 pieces of copper plate, 500 steel plate, and 1,000 plastic. What that is is that if you decide to build something, you can build each component part up. So I don't have anywhere near that many resources, but let's go for an example of something that I do have. Steam engine, which I should probably build. Um, you'll notice that pipes are la labeled in yellow and not red. What that means is that I don't have five pipes in my inventory, but what I do have is enough raw materials to make this. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a steam engine. You'll notice down in the bottom left-hand corner, that's what I'm producing. Let me go produce another one so you can potentially see it. So I'm making steam engines because unfortunately I am on the fossil fuel system. I would love to not be on the fossil fuel system, but that's, oh. So I have drones, I'll explain the drones later, but they're friends, yay friends. Um, again, I'm on the fossil fuel system as much as I would prefer not to be. And that's actually one of my next major projects in this is to no longer be in the fossil fuel system, but I need more power first. So these are a bunch of steam engines. Steam engines, as per reality, require steam to run, and they convert steam to power. In my case, the only power that I, or the only way I can heat up steam at the moment, is by burning coal, or burning other fuels. Um, I can burn wood, and I can burn. Uh, go over here and these little cube things up here. Um, they are solid fuel. Basically, it's. Um, compressed oil, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. So I'm going to build these two steam engines. Oh, I finished my robot construction. That's nice. That's not a great spot for it. This is a better spot. Okay. So I built that, and then I'm going to place some power poles down. 
getting a lot of email. I wonder what that's about. I don't see anyone email. Oh, no, there's a second email. Anyway, um, power pole. So I'm just going to connect them up so they're actually part of my power grid. There we go. So now they're producing power. And now I'm no longer browning out. I mean, it's not by much. I have maybe 200 kilowatts of spare power right now, but and I'm about to start browning out again. So I definitely need to do more than that. Um, let me just start another research really fast. I'll research something that doesn't require yellow science temporarily, just so I have I can let my yellow science build up a bit. Anyway, we need more power. And I could build more solar panels, which would be nice. But I think I need to start worrying about uranium. So let's go someplace where I'm not going to move around and look at the map. So everything in green here is uranium ore. I've got three different bits of uranium ore that are kind of close to me. Um, the map actually goes, I, I have, this is a very large map, but these are the only parts that I've seen. Um, I'm going to go after this uranium ore, because I can. I don't really have a other use for it. So to do that, let's, I need more roboports. Let's construct some roboports, and then I'll explain how robotics work. Robos are your friends. I need a lot more in the way of advanced circuits to build more. That's fine, I'll get more. So these robots here are logistics robots. Logistics robots will, so you'll notice that I have a logistics section over here. This is what I've told my robots, by the way, make sure I have a minimum of this in my inventory. So I'm actually going to increase this up to 30. Anyway, these are the things that I'm telling it, by the way, in your network of boxes, make sure I have this at all times. And I'm actually going up this to 90. And so the logistics robots basically go around grabbing the things that they need from these provider chests. Uh, this is a passive provider chest that has a bunch of advanced circuits in it, for an example. And they'll find me and give it to me. They need power. They operate off of battery, so they'll randomly charge up in these type of places. These are, this is a roboport. They're all named. Um, this robo part has 31 logistics robots in it, which is neat. They're cute. I wish I could name the robots. Anyway, I need more robo ports. So they go around, and I they're running a lot faster than they normally do. Uh, for a frame of reference, I think I've increased their speed five or six times now. I also have construction robots, which will allow me to basically use them to build things for me instead of me throwing things on the ground they'll actually fly over and grab things the reason why i'm building so many robo ports is that i'm going to connect Ooh, i'm actually low on steel now um i'm going to connect this uranium patch up to my robotic network that way i can move things around more easily so you can see that i'm doing a fairly good job at building i want 10 of these for reference I don't have any robo ports in my system right now, otherwise it would have provided me 10. So, anyway, it's giving me stuff. And you'll notice when I mouse over that it shows dotted lines. These are the paths that the robots will take to go from a robo port to another robo port. You'll see that I actually have a lot of robo ports. Um, then there's the orange color, which is their normal range, and green color, which is their extended range. Um, green is basically, hey, look, I'm having to use a bunch of batteries to get there. Orange is, yeah, this is in my normal range. I can move back and forth between them pretty easily. And then there's chests nearby. These chests are empty. But you'll notice on the right side, it has logistic system storage. And these are the things that I've thrown in storage. Why do I have three RoboPort um, logistics buddies here? In fact, I'm going to request logistic buddies and then put them in the right spot because they're not supposed to be there. Um, that is in this section, is it? Uh, I'm terrible at finding things in here, which is why 
I do this frequently. Give me all the construction robots. Zero are on their way. Okay, so it's a logistics robot. Yeah. So search for logistics robots. Give me all of them. So now when I mouse over, it'll say that three of them are on their way. And then I will have zero more in storage. Uh, for reference, for the advanced circuits, I have 9,346 of them in storage. I That's part of the reason why I'm running low, is that I made sure I had a lot in storage, because I use them a lot. Anyway, I now have my logistics buddies. I'm just going to put them into the system. They probably got produced, and then I went blue shiny and forgot what I was doing. So... Uh, anything else in my inventory I can get rid of? I don't really need that. Oops, wrong button. I don't really need the stone. Oops, damn it. <coughs> don't need the stone. I'm going to need the solid fuel. I'll keep the... I don't need this many speed modules. And basically while I do this, you'll see these go down. Um, anything in the logistics trash slots just get shoved into a chest somewhere. If there's an existing chest with them, they'll throw it in an existing chest. Otherwise, they'll throw it in a new one. It's robotlicious. Anyway, so let's go ahead and bring out my car. My car requires fuel, which I have plenty of in my inventory. And now I control a car. I am terrible at driving in this game. I'm probably better in real life driving, and I don't drive. So I am going to be journeying out to about here, and I'm going to be building roboports. Now these won't be powered initially. So what I'm going to end up doing, oh, I have finished research. It's just lining them up. So what I'm doing, if you can't tell, is that I'm making sure that the orange squares don't quite overlap. I think I'm actually going to build this one with two roboports connecting. I think that makes them slightly more efficient, as in easier to get around. And this is going to be out in the middle of nowhere anyway. So from there, I'm going to move out. I'm going to try to not run into rocks, because I am not good at controlling the car in this game. And build another roboport. So basically what I'm doing is that I'm trying to connect. Oop. I am terrible with the car repair everything. You know what? I'm just going to do this on foot. Let's go to car. Okay. So what I'm doing is basically making a line of roboports out to where the uranium's at. And uranium is pretty far over to the left. So I'm actually going to go like this. Build a new one. Go down and around because there's a giant forest in the way. I don't want to chop down trees if I don't have to, because I like trees. Um, we connect it down here. And then the last one, we'll make sure we cover the uranium area. Like that. There we go. Now I've got a bunch of electric mining drills, which is what I'm going to use. Oh, let me... And go ahead and research that. And what I'm going to do is build them. I'm going to mine all of the uranium. So you'll notice that there's a little bit here. Let me do this out in the um, light so you can actually see what I'm doing. The light follows my character. Um, this over on the right will tell me how many expected resources over the lifetime of this mining drill will I get. So you'll notice that this particular spot only hits one square of the uranium. If I move it over to the right, there are no resources available. What I'm trying to do is maximize or minimize the number of mining drills for the area. So I'm going to go like this.
I've never actually seen what this looks like. Oh, they need sulfuric acid. Oh, that's going to be annoying. I can make that work. I've never touched uranium before, so. Obviously not in real life either. Okay, so all the uranium goes. Okay, uranium starts at that line. Like so. Bloop. 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 And the reason why I'm covering the entire thing is that I I prefer setting and forgetting for this type of stuff, which is to say, I don't want to have to think about having to come back up here and go, okay, which ones are left? Oh, thank you, robotic buddies. But you're going to run out of power really fast because I don't have anything. Let me at least add some solar up here. Yeah, they're out of power now. So they're limping back home. So sad. Oh, while that's building, let's go ahead and make the last one of these. Oop, that area is going to be annoying. Like so. Um, I can rotate these for reference. So these are facing down, these are facing up. These should probably face down. So I need sulfuric acid up here. Ugh. Annoying. And these two are just going to face up. And let's construct some transport belts. I've got a method to my madness as to what I'm doing for reference. So how are you all doing? I know it's been a while since I've recorded one of these videos, and my apologies. My brain has not been very happy with me lately. Okay, I completed those solar panels. So let's go ahead and throw them up over here. And put some electricity. Like so. I said like so. There we go. So now this will be charging. Probably pretty slowly because I don't think this is actually producing enough power. Yeah. I am producing next to nothing in power from this. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to start running some power from down below. I need to do it for the network anyway. Let's go ahead and run back. And probably should have just connected over here instead because this is wide open. I'm going to need some power poles. Okay, and that will run me out of copper plates. But once I get back in the uh, logistics network, I should be able to get more copper plates back. So I'm having it give me 50 at a time. And I'm now back in network range. This is my copper mine, uh, copper, stone mining operation. Oh, you're actually done. No, you're not. That was me being dumb. Anyway, um, none of these appear to be all the way mined through, which is not surprising. So I don't use very much stone. This is an example of me just going, I'm just going to cover everything so I don't have to worry about it ever. Um, you'll see that some of these, there's only like 1,400 stone remaining, but some of these, there's 42,000 because they basically produce that much stone and it's never been moved, yeah, never moved since. Anyway, uh, what was I making? I've already forgot. Oh, power poles. I need more copper. I need a lot more copper actually because this takes five per 
I'm gonna change this from 50 to 200 for the time being. I'm pretty sure I have more than that in my, in my logistics network. Let's check. Easiest way to check is to find one of my provider chests and click on it. Because unfortunately, just mousing over something else hasn't helped. So I know I have a provider chest over here. And I actually don't have any copper in my network, do I? Nope, okay, well, that's an easy enough problem to fix. Let's take this chest, move it over very slightly. Oh, I actually didn't even need to move it. I have another in my inventory. Let's take an inserter, put it there. Uh, I don't need that much in the way of copper, so let's make it one row worth. This blocks off the rest of the chest. And let's throw a regular power pole somewhere in range. I'm gonna take this one and move it up here. So now this will start adding in some copper. And because there's copper in my network, the drones will start giving it to me. Drones are awesome. Anyway, that would take forever, so I'm actually just going to sit here and absorb as much as I can. And yes, I know my research is done. Okay. Um, I now have about 415 copper. So I can build more big electric bowls. And I'm out of steel. So I'm waiting for the steel network to give me more. There we go. I've got a decent amount of steel in my network, so I'm not too concerned. So I have 43 logistics robots and 42 construction robots, apparently. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to show you what a construction robot will end up doing. Because I don't really use them that often. I mostly use them when I need to expand things that aren't mining. And, well, this video probably won't include me doing much other than mining. Um, another five electric poles. Another five electric poles. Another five electric poles. And another five. And that should give me 50. That should be enough. So I'm just going to sit here and let my resources come back. I know why. Honestly, that could have gone away a while ago. That can go away. I am. Oh, I already have 30. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, all the rest of that can stay. We're going to drop this back down to 45. And let's head back. So I'm going to be stringing some poles. And I want to string them from over here, just because that's going to be easiest. So big electric poles have longest reach. You can see how long the reach is by virtue of seeing when it actually connects. And I can actually just hold this down I'm holding down the mouse button to be able to do this. So it's actually going the absolute longest length it can actually reach. The problem is it's, if I go out of range of it, it won't necessarily put it down properly. So it's a lazy way of doing it, but it's not great. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm taking the easy route to power the mining area but then I'm going to go back in and then provide power to the rest of the drone network on the way over. So like this one here, like that. And like that. So now this one will be accumulating power a little bit faster. Um, we're gonna throw in, I need some regular power poles as well. Oddly enough, it's actually easier for me to build mediums than it is smalls, but each small one gets me two power poles. Well, let that charge, go through the forest. I'm gonna need big power poles to reach here. Ugh, that forest is a little too dense for me. I don't wanna chop down trees when I don't have to, that's mean. I mean, I do chop down trees for reference. I kind of have to. Uh, 
I'm my fist to get to my thumb. Why didn't I choose this route to begin with? Oh well. Big power poles, the next one's down here. So I might use this area for iron production at some point. Not anytime soon though, because my iron production's really strong. And I'm gonna connect them over here for the last one because I can, and it's gonna be fewer power poles. There, now we have the full network connected. Uh, just research something, that's fine. You know what, research something long. That's gonna take a lot of science. In fact, speaking of, how's my science buildup going? I still have very little yellow, even though I let it build up as much as I could. Oh well, not much I can do about that right now. I need to solve my power problem. And to solve my power problem, I need more sources of power which means I need some pipes. I need a lot of pipes, actually. And I can definitely pick up pipe. I am producing pipes in my network for reference, but uh, it's easier for me to just build them now while I'm waiting. So it's going to take me a while to even get to my pipe area. My pipe area is down here, which honestly, I should probably have a provider chest for pipes as well. Let's take this one. Let's grab it here. Put an inserter right there just because it's easier for me to do that. Um, storage chest, put it there. Now this will start grabbing pipes. Honestly, you can fill that entire thing with pipes and I will still use all of them. Pipes are one of the things that I use the most of. Let's just take all my pipes. There we go. I've got about 300 pipes. That's not gonna be enough. So what I end up doing is building these pipes to ground. So sulfuric acid is a liquid, or, or it's a liquid. This game models liquids. So that's what these pipes are. This is my area that converts from raw crude oil to various substances. Uh, in this case, it's converting crude oil to 30 heavy oil. I think that's the way it's phrased. 30 heavy oil. 30 light oil, and 40 petroleum gas. Is that right? Light oil, heavy oil, petroleum gas. Right. Um, some of these are instead making it 10 heavy oil, 45 light oil, 55 petroleum gas. So I have differing amounts of different substances. I'm almost always out of heavy oil, though. Um... So yeah, this is producing my various liquids, but over here is my sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is what I actually need for this, I can't walk around pipes, um, what I need for this particular mining area. So this is my sulfuric acid pipe. I am maxed out on sulfuric acid, so that's good. And what I'm going to be doing, I told you I'm gonna use up all of the pipes, in fact, why don't I just get provided with 200 pipes at all times? So what I'm going to be doing is laying some underground pipe. The reason why I lay it underground is that pipes block you. So if you notice while I was walking around, I can't walk through this and that's really obnoxious. So unlike the conveyor belts, which I can just walk right on through with no issues and they are more aesthetically pleasing, I throw these underground. I'm just going to build this up north of my conveyor belts, which will probably cause my drones to not be able to do much. Yeah, that's not surprising. 
I also need some regular pipes so I can do turns. And I'm just going to go like this for a bit. Oh. <sighs> Darn it, game. Just going to have to make that a little shorter than normal. And then over a bit. See what I mean by I'm going to use up all of my pipes? Okay. Um. I still need to go over more. Okay, good to know. Pipes do not require electricity, so I can just be out in the middle of nowhere doing this. Okay, that's the last one I don't want there. Pipe. Then we're going to go up. I'll try to disturb as few things as possible. There's a little coal patch. And naturally this goes right in the forest. How much of a forest do I have to go through? I can make this work. I really don't want to break any trees. Or cut down any trees. And I'm out of those anyway. Told you I'm going to use them all up. <laughs> I'm having to not quite go to maximum length because of the trees, unfortunately. But again, I don't want to cut down any trees. Trees are pretty. Good. Now I'm back up. Now I have cliffs to deal with. Why can't I just have normal things? I have to make everything pretty. Sounds like my housemate's playing destiny so I'm gonna have to produce more pipes because I don't have enough pipes never mind underground pipes to get through things and I still have a long way to go yeah I'm not even within sight of it at the moment so I am almost certainly gonna need to run back for more pipes this was a terrible route to take oh well Now I'm going to run back because I'm also out of materials required to make pipes because of course I am. So I'm getting back in the drone network so I can get more pipes. Um, hmm. I guess I can show what construction drones end up doing. I'll just do a quick example. So I have blueprints. This is a blueprint screen. So I've got some. Uh, these are blueprints that I downloaded online because you can actually import a string, throw it in here, and it will create a blueprint from it, which is nice. Um, I'm just going to stand over close to a robo port. Um, I've also made some of my own. For instance, this is a blueprint for a solar area. It produces two lines of solar panels three lines of accumulators and then two lines of solar panels. So I can go like this. And now that is the proposed design. Then construction robots go around and build this. However, in my case, I actually have none of the things required for it because they're not in my network. Oh, I take that back. I do have a couple of things. So they will build it to the best of their ability. They can't produce, uh, they can't construct the various materials required. So for instance, the solar panel uh, requires copper plates, steel plates, and electronic circuits. They won't construct that, but I can. So I can just sit here and construct solar panels, throw them in the chests, then my drone network will build it for me. Um, I can also use deconstruction, which is like this. This is usually the way I use my drone network. Anything that's proposed just goes away. Everything else just gets swept up. So what this is useful for, let me show you an example is that let's say I've got a couple of solar areas over here. And let's say I don't want this one anymore. I want to move it someplace. I can go like this. And this deconstruction planner specifically ignores power. So it's 
not going to be quite right, but so the construction drones will come by and take them and then shove them in the chests. From there, I can just move it someplace else and they'll reconstruct it for me. My construction robots must be pretty far away at the moment because I definitely have more than five. Strange that I'm not seeing them. It might just be that because I'm browning out that they're being a little slow. Anyway, I'm just gonna put this back where it was. I guess it looks like I should probably eliminate these first and then let it reconstruct. There they are, they're coming from up north, that's right. So yeah, they're being a little slow because they need to charge. You can even see them diverting at the last moment because they realize they don't have enough power. That's part of the problem with being out in the green area is that you can't really do things as efficiently. Meow. Meow. Anyway, you'll see everything get deconstructed. I'm just going to put things right on top of where they were because that was just a demonstration. And they will come by and put everything back. Wom thump 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 thump. See, this construction is way faster this way as long as you have the correct materials in your chests. I don't have a factory building solar panels. I probably should, to be honest. They're kind of slow to produce, and they only require materials that I have in abundance. Eh, electronics are concerned that in abundance, but Yeah, anyway, I'll do that later. So this is now back. I'm still browning out, unfortunately. Yeah, I am down quite a bit. So what was I doing? Oh, right, pipes. So they'll run over, grab the things that I need. Pipes are over here, steel plates are over here. Asian is right here. And then fill my inventory up. I actually much prefer the logistics robots over the construction robots because I find it more fun. I can also have my own personal supply of robots. I don't have that in this case. So I can make my own robo port and so on. I didn't bother yet. I probably should, but effort. Cat, what are you doing? Ooh, I can build a tank. Um, where's the personal robo port? Personal robo port requires batteries. Or for the Mark II, it requires 100 pro blue processing units and five personal robo ports. I actually have batteries. I'm just gonna grab some. All oh, right, robots. I don't need to grab them myself. Not that many. 45. That's all I need. Now I can build a personal robo port. Bloop. And that's constructing down here. It doesn't take very long. It's 10 seconds. Now I have a personal robo port. I should probably also get personal solar panels and batteries. Or a portable computer connector. Oh, that requires five solar panels. Dang it. Oh, building five solar. Oh, no. So like I said, it will use the materials. If you don't have all of the exact ingredients, it will construct them. I don't want to do that. I want to just build it myself. Or I want to just grab the materials and then build it. It's faster. Solar panels take a long time to build to begin with. All right, well, while that's being constructed, I will go running back off. Uh, let's pull out the car again. Now that I have a path that's less forested.
solid fuel is more efficient than coal, as in more energy for the fuel cost. Let's not run into any trees today. Cliffs do not work that way. Anyway. Oh, this is where I need to go. Just get out and start this again. that then I want a storage tank over here so storage tanks are little temporary storage facilities for liquids and because I have liquid out here I want a tank nearby in case if I do some maintenance that way this will just fill up um, because this is a liquid based system it will equalize so I have a current supply of sulfuric acid this will just equalize everything uh, yeah, it's probably going to settle at about half. And then, well, time to start constructing these. So, this is going to require some pipe work. I think I'll put there. Ooh, that might actually have been a problem. I'll just construct the pipelines over to the left as well. in. Good job, me. Hey, plus job there, me. Um, let's do this. Like so for now. This one's going to have to be powered from the back because I don't really have a spot to put it. I did not think about this when I was constructing this. There we go, that should be connected now. Construct more pipe to ground. This is a lot of pipes. So what I'm doing is constructing all of the underground piping for this. Although to be honest, I probably don't even need it to be underground because oh, everything's not blocked off. Okay, this probably is worth doing it this way. The main reason why I do it, not just for aesthetics purposes, is because I can't walk through this area. Oh, they go in and out. Oh, that would have been a lot easier to know. Let me undo this really fast. This is why I like deconstruction robots, is because it lets me deconstruct things more easily. I can just tell it to do that. It's going to take a while for the deconstruction robots to get up here, but... Okay, this makes things a lot easier for me to do. There. 
that should cause all of that to deconstruct once the bots actually get up here. Why are you going that route? Ugh. Oh, I probably don't have that powered right now, do I? Oops. Um, I'll deal with that some other time. That explains why the deconstruction bots are taking a while. I can deal with that right now. I've got the power poles in my inventory. Let's fix this. I also have the robo ports in my inventory. Let's fix this, fix this more easily. Ah, stupid cliff. So close, but so far. Okay, and let's throw some power into here. How long have I been recording? An hour already. Dang it. I should probably stop, but I'm going to finish up what I'm doing. And... Oh, there's an alien in here. Did not realize I was that close to them, but apparently I am. Should have paid more attention. All right, so you down here are the problem. Why are you going from there to there? Oh, because you're trying to go the natural route and there's no way station here. Well, let me just put one here. That should help things a little bit. construct another robo port to get it closer at least uh, dang it you know what I'm gonna move this one slightly further over so I can get them to connect Bloop. Bloop. okay let's put you here. And then I can go like this. And that's a much better way of handling it. And poles. over here and that should help now they can actually charge everywhere and that's good as I was doing before I was so rudely interrupted by power problems see this is the problem with me playing uh, Factorio is that I lose time like crazy uh, making sure that there's nothing else going on okay and back up here uh, right up here 
I don't think this is going to be all that interesting for people, to be honest. But, well, I wasn't focusing on interesting in this case. I was focusing on nifty things to me. So, if these can connect to each other, that's great. So, at that point... Huh. At that point, I'm thinking that I actually want to deconstruct these as well. But they're fairly useful. I should be fine this way. Connect up here. the rest of those underground ones on their way. Oh, I know how I can make this work. Okay, so let's... Do I have any underground inserters right now? No. Yes, I do. And I... Like that. Then I can make a blueprint on this. Can actually show off what blueprinting might end up looking like. Like this. So now I have a blueprint. And I can just keep doing it like so. Oh, right. That would help if they were actually aligned. They're not actually aligned, are they? Oh well. Dreams dashed. Why am I having everything go this way? Oh well. This is the way I'm doing it. Oops. Wrong side. There we go. I don't know why I have an odd number of those. must have left one under construction somewhere. Wrong direction. And that one's not going to work at all. Can't cover up both sides of the same route. Oh, derp. How about I use the same thing I've always been doing? Huh, oh, imagine that. You know what? I like how this is going. I want to make something better. And something I can make my bots do. Also, they're going all the way back to drop things off, which is annoying. Okay. So. Let's construct this the way I want to construct it. I like the whole going underneath the tunnels thing, underneath the pipes thing, so I'm keeping that. Got a decent amount of sulfuric acid. So how do I want to do this? I like them connecting in the middle all the way. 
I'm going to do that all the way. Okay, got that. I like them connecting on one side to each row. Like so. Three. Dang it, I miscounted up here. I hate it when I do that. Two space in between. And I ended up adding it the same. That's good. Okay, we've got that. I said I was going to be personal robot port. No, that's right. I need the personal solar panel. Let's just do that. It's going to take a while. Okay. Belts here. So the reason why I'm doing that is that this will produce materials on the top part, this will produce materials on the bottom. It's better to have belts balanced in my mind. I really don't think anybody's going to want to watch this video. Because seriously, I'm not very good at Factorio 1. And 2, even if I was, seriously, it's not that entertaining to watch. But I'm going to try. Okay, I got that line done. Um, do I have things on the way? I've got nine of them on the way, okay. Eight, nine. It's probably eight. battery for me. Couple batteries. In fact, let's go with five batteries. Okay, okay, so I got that. Just going to go like this. That's not what I want to do. I'll just leave this one, it doesn't matter as much. But I'm doing it anyway. this in no screw it there we go now my 
personal sol solar robo port will start charging up a bit more. This can go back into my blueprint book. Um, uh, FG knows. I don't know what to talk about when I'm doing this because I'm kind of in a zen like state. Not truly zen like, that's not correct, but. ran out of yellow really oh well, I've got more in the way oh this is gonna be a long video isn't it probably like hour and a half oh boy mm, time check for myself I've got an hour and a half until I have something that I have to do so that's fine I guess the other one of those was just stuck in a constructor somewhere or a um, request request somewhere so that's nice more splits. Ah, dang it, I still have one, too few of those. And I'm out of iron. Probably had, yeah, I've got 69 of them on their way. Need a few more of them. There we go. Boop. And I actually need two more total. As for the plan that I have, I need two more. Actually, I need two more beyond this. There will be this. All right, that should do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, we got that. So what these splitters are actually doing, they can either split a construction belt or merge it together. In this case, I'm having them merge together. I believe like this is what I want. I'm just waiting on more of these belts. There's 36 on their way. I'm just going to construct a few because I need 
them now. I'm going to use them anyway, so it's fine. Okay, got that all done. Need to power this garbage still. So the reason why I have things set up the way I do is that what I like to do is prioritize various sections. So for instance, I'm going to have input priority on the left over here. What that means is that these two will go ahead and keep constructing even to the detriment of the stuff over here. And what I'm actually doing is that I'm prioritizing the things on the bottom over the things on the top. The reason for that is so when I start clearing out the ore, it basically starts clearing up. I think it looks pretty at least. So that means that this needs to prioritize right. So um, it's down to the top, outside to in. So this doesn't need to be prioritized. These are equivalent to each other. This one should, uh, this is the same way. They're, these three are going to be equivalent priorities. I mean, if I wanted to be symmetrical, this probably would have been over on the right, but oh well, it doesn't matter. Looks good to me. Um, okay, so from here, this priority is right, this priority is left, and this priority will be left. Okay, now I need power. I need a lot more medium poles. Hopefully those are easy to make. everybody powered. Now I need to actually hook up pipes. Everything's hooked up on the left. They're not hooked up on the right yet. I'm going to do that now. There we go. Like that. Like so. Like that. And like that. There we go. Oh, I missed one power. There we go. That'll work. So now you're seeing the uranium pile up. This is what I expect to have happen, basically. And actually, I'm going to make a fast splitter up here, which is going to take me a bit. Do, 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 do. Just checking up on IRC and so on. So, apologies for the alt tabbing. That's not what I told you to do at all. Um, so, darn it. Stupid multiple monitors not wanting to work very well. Oh, screw it. That's good enough. So, um, everything's hooked up. I've constructed my red splitter. So reds are roughly twice, or not roughly, exactly twice the speed of yellows. So I like having a red splitter at the top and then using red um, pathways to go around. Uh, where'd my red splitter go? I'm blind, where is it at? There it is. Like so. Also, I just noticed that, well, first, start doing red. Am I seriously out of reds? I am not out of reds. Oh, I just have tons of them in my inventory. That's fine. I'm going to need them. All of them. 
Oops. So now I'm going to construct a pathway back with all of this uranium. I'm actually going to do it like that. I'm going to make the break there intentionally. That way I don't have to worry as much about accidentally messing things up. I need at least a couple of these underground paths. Oh, accidentally messed that up too. And they're pain in it. I will take care of this rock. I should probably make sure I don't leave my car behind again. I have a habit of doing that for some reason. And I'm just making this giant path. It's totally not the way that tunnel should work, but whatever. Physics are a guideline. And basically what I'm doing is making a giant path. I am going to have some problems, aren't I? I think I'm actually going to turn here instead. See, this is why I wanted to break up the path first. That way I don't end up with a crap ton of uranium in my inventory for no reason. Can't imagine that's healthy for me. And okay, so over here is where I have existing pathing. That's fine. I'm just gonna go over all the way over to here. Turn, go down. Way down. And this is going to be the area that I'm going to do uranium processing at. So I actually don't know what's involved with it. So I'm just going to end up leaving it right about here. Well, that's a good thing because I ran out of red belts and I don't want to use blue belts for this. Let, let me take one red belt with me so I can connect it up. Then run all the way back. I should probably just use my car. Where I put my car. Fuel it up. Run into a rock because of course I do. into a second rock because why not I'm good at driving everybody this is why I have so many repair kits no really I ran out of the last set of repair kits I made let's leave this guy in right and now we should have lots of uranium processing going now. Oh, this middle section is not connected up correctly. Uh, wait, I'm not even using sulfur. That would probably help for me to actually finish that. Just saying. That's the one that's not needed. There, now all of them should actually be going. Otherwise I'd be, yeah. I, about to run out of. That's not even filling up the path at this point. It will again. So I'm not going to use anywhere near this much uranium, I think. Yep. Finished researching, so that's good. Take that back. Um, research something new. Let's get even more logistic slots. Yeah. Or mining capacity? Enrichment facility is probably a good idea. I have no idea. I have not looked at all into how uranium works. Longer cargo size sounds like a better idea, though. Anyway, I'm going to run down the path, which is going to make my logistics robots really confused because I'm running a lot faster than they can run. Even catching up to where I connected the uranium at. I will repair you, Rock. 
I can't repair the rock. Okay, fine. I will mine out the rock because I can. There we go. And there I've done it. I now have a new form of ore. I will mine out this rock too because again, it's lost hit points and I can't repair it. So yeah. Well, I haven't really shown you much. Uh, I guess I can figure out how to do uranium processing. That's required. We did that thing. What the heck is that thing? Centrifuge. Well, that would make sense. I need concrete for a centrifuge. How do I build concrete? Concrete. I don't see it. That doesn't mean much. Concrete is built via iron ore, stone bricks, and water. And that has to be done in an assembly plant. Okay. Well, guess what I'm going to be doing. I hope this has been at least somewhat entertaining. I doubt it, to be honest, but that's okay. So I'm going to build concrete from here. So I need iron ore, stone bricks, and water. Stone bricks do come from here. So I'm not that far away from stone brick. And I have plenty of capacity to make more. So that's not going to be a problem. I'm actually going to make a new split. Use this that I just made here. I've got a method to my madness, don't worry. You are going to output priority left and then connect up like this. So what that will end up doing is primarily put all the bricks on the left side for these three, then these three will be on the right side. The reason for that is I'm gonna use this for my brick, my brick rack. And this will be for my brick factory, which I'm actually going to move from here over to the right. I've got water over here as well, so this is probably a good place to put it. Okay, so you are building concrete. I need bricks, which are right here. Oh, I'm off by one. That's fine, I'll just put that back down again. Make sure it's powered. You, once more, are making concrete. So I'm going to have the water pipes coming from that direction. So I need to get iron ore. Where the heck is my iron ore at? That's way far away at this point, isn't it? Oh, poopy. It really is iron ore, and it's not just iron plates. It's really iron ore. Okay, well, that means my nearest iron ore is probably over here. Nearest to e and easiest to grab, it's over here. We have to split off of that, and that's a blue split that I need. So request blue splitters. And I've got six in storage, so I'm going to just take all six. So the reason why my iron is blue is because I go through enough of it. This entire line is blue. Blue is triple that of yellow. So I use a lot of iron, shall we say. that and if I'm really going to do this let's do this the right way oh, dang it I mean I could probably do this with a you know what I'm gonna do this with a red I don't need that much in the way of iron I'm not gonna create that I'll probably do this with yellow but reds easy enough to build I'm fine with using reds so we're going to bring this up here, like here, 
uh, my kind of concrete still up there. So just gonna go along this here. Oop. Damn it! I keep doing that. Dead tree can go away. Like so. Then use a long handle inserter to grab iron ore. Finally, we've got more pipes. Nothing but a pipe dream, I tell you. Nothing but a pipe dream. Where is water? There's sulfur, there's lube, there's oil. Lots of water. Here's water. I have plenty of water production, so I'm not too concerned about that. And now this is producing. Yay. For the time being, I'm just going to put this in a provider chest. Like so. And like so. Oh wow, that produces a lot of concrete at once. That'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine, okay. So, um, concrete is one of the things I needed for the centrifuge. Also, I need for a centrifuge. Advanced circuits, steel plate. Ugh. Advanced circuits. Oh, I'm out of advanced circuits, basically. That is surprising. I use it for everything. I'll just steal all these so I can actually build a centrifuge. And I just need 100 concrete, which won't take me too long. Oh, I'm actually running low on plastic now. That's weird. I have enough of that. I don't have enough of this. Am I actually running low on gas? Yep, that's what it is. Ah, oh, poop. And that's because I am trying to max out on sulfuric acid now. Which means this is running a lot more than normal, and yeah. Grumble. I've got speed modules, right? Yeah, I do. Go faster, produce more. And while you're at it, you can produce more as well. I mean, part of the problem is that I am browning out still presumably. Am I browning out still? No, I'm not actually. My accumulators are maxed out. I don't see any brown. Hmm. Okay. Fine on oil. That's hardly a shock. I don't know. What if? Do you have 100 in you now? Oh, I'm going to request 100 of concrete. Give me 100 concrete. Oh, I've got 100 now. 
I'm perfect. Okay. Now I have a centrifuge. Which I'm assuming that I need. I actually don't know if I need it or not. So I'm assuming we need to refine uranium. That's the way it works in reality, at least. And yes, I do actually know at least a little bit about nuclear physics. Put that on the other side. Left it up in the medium reach power pole there. Okay, so I can do uranium processing or nuclear processing. I'm going to do uranium processing. So I convert uranium ore into those two varieties of uranium. So I need filter inserters. I don't need stack filter, I just need filter. That'll work. And then two extra provider chests, like so. go with a fast one, can't it? Three, four, six, eight, ten. Nope, doesn't need to be fast. I'm using it up faster than I can actually do production. Much faster, in fact. Okay. Okay. What else do I do with uranium? I mean, presumably there's got to be a heat exchanger around somewhere. Also, this is the weirdest looking centrifuge I've ever seen, but whatever. All right. Nuclear reactor. I need a lot of goods for that. I need 500 concrete. Which probably won't take too long to get. How much do we even have right now? Yeah, I'm going to run out of storage, but um, what else do I need? I need 500 copper plates, 500 steel plates, 500 advanced circuits. Let's get this up to 500. And steel up to 500. This is going to take a while for the logistics network to handle this. That's fine. That's why I have logistics. Also, I keep having bots in my inventory. Where are they? I know I saw some. Where the hell are they? Oh, they're gone now, I guess. Just let that sit, and I am spending even longer on this when I thought I was going to be ending it. But I feel as though it might be useful for people to watch what it actually looks like for me to construct something. This is going to be two hours. Ugh. Well, 
This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to solve a problem with power. This is going to solve a problem with power, that's for sure. You can produce a lot more power output than a single steam engine, that's for sure. So let's see, a single solar panel is 60 kilowatts, a steam engine is 900 kilowatts, nuclear reactor is 40 megawatts. I've got the copper, I've got the concrete, just need the steel and the advanced circuits left. I mean, yes, I could have walked over and grabbed them from the chests myself, and that's what I did before I had the drone network, but the drones are so cute. Yay, logistics drones. Got the advanced circuits. Now I'm just missing three more steel. And now I can build a nuclear reactor. This will take eight whole seconds to build. I mean, geez. Oh, these aren't a part of my drone network. That could be a problem. Or not. I don't know how this works, so let's find out. Fuel. That, those are fuel rods. How do I build fuel rods? Uranium fuel cell. Okay. Need iron plates for that. Iron plates are down here. It's easy enough for me to split off of. My iron bus is not starving anywhere, so I should be okay. Getting a splitter. Because at some point I will have so much demand for my products that I can't fulfill everything required. That something's not today to reference. Actually, out of iron transport belts and logistics storage. Really? Wow. I didn't realize I was running that low. Um, it looks like it's more of a matter of. No, I'm not running low at all. Oh, that's not. That's. Yeah, I'm not running low at all. It's more that I just was out of range. Oh, so many things transporting to me. Oh, that's because I still have that that and that enabled I mean I do need advanced circuits but not that many I can go with like 50 I do need steel but more like a hundred and uh, what was the last one that I just did copper copper more like a hundred okay that should do So let's make two regular steel things for this over here. Because I don't want this to be part of the drone network when the only thing I'm using it for is this nuclear reactor. Speaking of nuclear reactor, you're going there. No, you're not. You're going one more over. Long grabby that way, long grabby that way, short grabby that way, power pole there. <sighs> Is there a way to get this other ways? Uranium is an intermediate product or not? Oh, 
Oh, right. I need to actually make the fuel cells. Fuel cells are created by a, one of these thingies, right? Fuel cell is created in uh, anything, looks like. these now need to be move this around these actually need to be belts in my mind just dump as much of that as possible out I need more than one centrifuge, don't I? Oh, I can at least build another. See how addictive this gets? Inserters. I'm just going to take a bit. So put the filter inserters down, that would help me. I need a power pole. Yeah. Right. This is going to be dumb uranium. And this is going to be smart uranium. Ugh, such a low percentage. I'm probably just going to stop it here because I would like to at least be able to eat before my phone call.
Um, but you get the idea of how this works. Um, basically, you construct materials, then those, you use those materials to construct more things, and rinse, repeat forever. Uranium fuel processing is annoying. Um, yeah. So that's a thing. Let's see, we go like that. Yep. And we can go like that. Hooray. Meow. Can I make this slightly better? There. That'll fully evenly balance it. So we soon hungry, and we can't have that now, can we? All right, so that's that for now. I seriously need I need one for every nineteen. Uh, although it's worth eight gigajoules, a lot of fuel. Mm. I should probably actually build my thing over here. there. You are building fuel cells. You've got grabbies. Okay, I've got everything I need. One of those. Two of these. And one final one. Bring the plates up here, which get in range to be able to get more transport belts. That's right, I'm using red ones for that anyway. Do I have an... Oh, I am using yellows. That's right, it was red ones for the ore. That's what it was. <coughs> Let's just sit here for a moment. Blurp. 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 Oh, this file is going to be freaking huge because I'm recording at 3440 by 1440 at 60 frames a second. So yeah, this is not going to be a tiny video, to put it mildly. This is going to be big enough where YouTube will start choking. Yay! Uh, oops. Like so. You know what? I'm going to rotate these around. There. So output will be here now. Oh, I'm on the wrong row anyway. Oh well. Too late. And power. Like so. And like so. Not that I could do a dang thing about this right now. I know. Unfair kitty cat. I agree completely. I'm going to just throw this in a chest for the time being. In case if you ever produce any fuel. So, you've seen me get the refinement stuff ready. It has the weird green glow because that's what everybody associates with radiation for some reason. Um, I will take care of my very hungry kitty, obviously. Right, Isun? Do you want to say hi bye to everybody? You don't. You just want to be fed. Well, oh, too bad. The master of purrs says good night. And I think the next video will end up being book one. Bye, internet. Until the next time we talk. <laughs>